Introduction to SPSS. Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to address these questions. What does SPSS do and can I use Excel instead? Does it matter what version of SPSS I use? Who uses SPSS? How do I use SPSS? So what does SPSS look like when I open it? Uh, can you tell me about the point and click method of using SPSS? And what is the syntax in SPSS? Managing output in SPSS. How to download a free trial version of SPSS onto your machine. Where do I go next for help? How to analyze my data? So if you're interested in one or more of these questions, stay tuned. So what does SPSS do? Well, probably you are familiar with Excel, at least you've seen Excel before. Um, Excel, although it has some statistical functions, is really just the spreadsheet package, so it doesn't um, the statistical features in Excel is very limited. So if you want to do something like analyze your survey questionnaire, you'll need something like SPSS, which is a more kind of complete statistical uh, package. Does it matter what version of SPSS I use? Okay, um, SPSS is the only package I know that seems to be updating itself, have new versions every few months or so. Um, I was on version 18 um, last year and it seems to be currently on version 22. Uh, I'm going to be demonstrating to you on version 21. Um, does it matter then? Uh, well, for the newbie, if we're doing kind of basic analysis, the answer is no. All right. What we see in the newer versions, it seems to be gearing more towards business type units, um, communities uh, who are trying to analyze um, kind of business data. Uh, so um, you know that that's not really unless you're into your professional you 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 you're not kind of um, affected by the version. Uh, so who uses SPSS? Social scientists, big group. Um, as likewise, uh, psychologists. Uh, marketing. So you know, marketing um, and SPSS these days seem to be geared more to, for for people in the marketing kind of um, industry. Um, so. Undergrads will use it for typically analyzing a questionnaire that they've done. Um, I also get requests for help from uh, potential uh, marketing people. So th th they need to learn SPSS for a job interview. So they need to brush up quick on SPSS. And um, yes, you get postgrads, PhDs having to use SPSS. Uh, it's one of the more easier statistical packages to use because uh, of uh, of the environment. It's uh, you can it looks a bit like Excel. You can point and click. And people are kind of familiar with that. Um, alternatives to SPSS, uh, Stata, um, is uh, the main I think main competitor really. Um, that does um, that does things similar to SPSS, and in fact uh, there's more probably. Right next, how to use SPSS. All right, so now I'm going to open up SPSS and we'll have a look. Uh, look at it. Right, when you open SPSS, you'll see two windows. The one at the front here is just asking you, what would you like to do? Would you like to open up a, a data set you've already got? As a newbie, you'd probably say cancel. You don't need that. All right, um, so this is what we have, the main window. And what you can see is, is it looks similar to Excel. This is like the spreadsheet. Um, we've got two about up here. And, um, we we'll see we've got two tabs just like in Excel, except for oh, we've only got two. Okay, there's a data view and a variable view. The data view contains the data. So in that sense, it's a bit like Excel here, you put your data. But additionally, we've got this variable view. Variable view is something that Excel doesn't have. Uh, this tells us uh, what type, or talks about, sorry, it records a kind of data, um, information about what type of variables we've got listed. You can see that um, just like Excel we've got the rows numbered 1, 2 and so on but the columns here are var which stands for variable because remember in statistics we talk about variables. Um, you might use the word data. Um, uh, in Excel we'll have A, B, C, D and so on. So in variable view it'll discuss about, it'll tell us about what kind of variables you've entered for each column. All right. So that information goes here and that's important for uh, running, running uh, the analysis. Okay. Um, right. So we see that here, just like Excel, you have like this toolbar, and it's good in a way because 
for the newbie, once we have loaded our data, we can just like point and click. So long as we know where to go, point and click um, to run the analysis. Uh, later on, if you get more advanced SPSS, they'll teach you how to program. So that's like right, light, writing lines of commands. So that doesn't interest us, but just know that they exist. All right, and just like in Excel, you've got some icons here, which is like for quick access to certain often used, um, often used kind of uh, uh, what is it um, method or something like that. Okay, so quick access instead of going to analyze blah blah blah. It might be that you've got something here that you can just press because you need to access it often. Okay. Right. Uh, what is it like? Point and click syntax. Okay. Managing output. Right. So now let's me load uh, data. All right. So I've just got them data here. Just what it looks like. So each column contains variable. And it doesn't matter what these variables are for this example. And when I go to variable view, can you see that it's um, it's filled in for each variable? It tells me, gives me some information about what that particular variable, each variable does. Okay, so let me just run something. Uh, I'll show you just what happens when you run something. So I go analyze. I'm just going to run any old thing really. Okay, I've run something, and what you can see is when I run something, another window pops up, and it's called the output, right? It's output window, and this output window contains two columns. Uh, the main body of the output is on the right column. So here, I've just asked for what have I asked for? I've just asked for the mean of that uh, variable. Okay, um, and what happens here in the left column? It tells you uh, what you've just done. What you've just done, all right. Um, so here I've asked for frequencies. Suppose I want to run something else. I'm going to do something else. All right. So what do you notice now? You see that I've this time I've run some called descriptives, and you see that in the left column I have now another chunk of stuff that's come out. Right. Basically, this is like the index. Uh, and what's good about managing your output is that you can give these n names. So the first one, first output, to keep track of what you've done. So the first output, I can change that to a name. So example one. Okay. The second one, called descriptives, I can just call that something. Let's say example two or something. Now, why would I want to do this? Well, suppose I run SPSS, you know, people tend to get kind of quickly confused what's going on because when you run something, there could be so much output dumped onto your right hand screen. Uh, you're scrolling up and down looking for the thing you want. But if you keep track of what you've done in the left column, like example one, suppose I want to quickly get access to um, my output example one, I just click on it in the right column and it takes me up there. If I want to get to uh, example two quickly. I just now point in the example two here in the left column. Click on that, and, it, and the right screen scrolls exactly to where I want. So you can imagine that if I've got a long list of stuff on the right column of all output I've done over various um, over several minutes or even hours, I just go over here and I, since I've kept a record of what I've done, I can just simply find the output I've done very quickly by clicking on this old stuff. All right. Um, so under example one, these are log files, the frequency, basically that's the thing that I've run. Uh, you've got various stuff going on. That, that basically tells you what's, um, what's in the right hand side window. Uh, but all you need really is, you don't need to bother with all this stuff, you just go up here. All right. And say there's something that's in my uh, output that I want to completely delete, I could just highlight it highlight it, like say, say example 2, say I want to delete that output because I want to kind of tidy up, then I press delete on my computer and it's gone, All right? Complete the stuff on the right hand side. Thus making it more manageable because as I said in SPSS your output tends to build up very quickly. Once we're done with a session we'll just go file and you can just save, All right? Uh, some people will like, as newbies, like to just copy and paste parts of that output into a document like Word or something. Uh, but um, if you come back to later, you might just want to save it as well. So go file and save. 
Notice also that if you look at the toolbar here compared to the main window, they're exactly the same. Um, that just means that you can run the output, sorry, run your analysis from this window, the output window as well. All right, so that's a matter of preference. Right. So we've talked about managing output. Downloading a free trial version. All right, that's probably going to excite some of you. Um, if you're a student, it's likely that well check whether your the IT services in your college supports um, uh, has a, has a kind of a student license for SPSS because they do typically you can get it for free or just pay for the disk um, a few dollars and that'll that license might just cover the academic year all right if you're a professional or if you don't have if your college doesn't have like the kind of support you can download the free trial version of SPSS uh, so let's do that with you now because um, I just don't want to give you the link because link changes so let's go to the browser okay what I'll type in is right SPSS is owned by IBM IBM let's type IBM SPSS trial download okay. all right so it's given us a link let's click on that link SPSS statistics desktop okay get your IBM SPSS 14 day trial in three minutes or less uh, I guess that's supposing you've got a very fast computer that can faster connection anyway we note that there's a you if uh, you can download it if you've got Mac okay it does it Mac in this current version does Mac OS Mac OS X um, does Linux and does Windows and you've got all in various languages Chinese English French German Italian Korean Japanese, Polish, Portuguese, Brazilian, and Russian, Spanish. Okay, yeah. Great, so so I guess you just highlight one of these guys and uh, away you go really, isn't it? So you highlight it and you just press continue on this window here. Uh, IBM ID usually email password. Oh, we're, we're a new visitor, so proceed with an IBM ID. I'm not actually going to download it here, but and then okay, it's the first time I've accessed this page, so I just see. So just fill in your details here, the stars. Just fill that in, and then submit, and then no doubt it's going to allow you to um, allow you to download the thing. Okay, so it's 14 days. It's free. Uh, 14 days of your student might be enough to do your dissertation so long as you're kind of uh, well organized all right okay where to go next for help how to analyze my data all right so I get I can see a lot of questions on YouTube uh, students say, tend to think I think from reading what they say on YouTube tend to think there's just a standard method for analyzing data now how do I analyze my data uh, as if there's a standard way well the answer is um, the, the methods you use to analyze your data depends on the hypotheses, the questions, or the aims of your, you know, aims of your um, project. So depending on what the questions are, that will affect, for example, uh, the data you collect or you know, the structure of your questionnaire, if it's a survey you're doing, uh, and also the methods um, that are going to be relevant. Okay. So for example, you might have heard of regression. Regression might be suitable for one person, but it might not be suitable for you, for example. Okay. Um, so the method you need to use, or the methods, depend on your hypotheses, the aims of your uh, research. And this is where I find SP, um, YouTube is very good, because where to go next for help, um, if you know what methods you need, you can go onto YouTube and search for something like, uh, yeah, for regression, for example. How do I um, interpret the output of my regression? Uh, if you have no idea, uh, that's uh, yes. That's where I might make some old videos, depending on demand, on how 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 or how do you think about what methods you need. All right. Um, so I uh, just want to introduce you to my channel statistics mentor so my other videos 
Um, I tend to find people using SPSS tend to need it for kind of um, survey analysis. So you can see I've got a lot of um, so here's where you might go next how to enter your data that would be a next natural thing if you're doing a project how to enter data for a questionnaire uh, how to uh, enter data if you've got look at kind of scale input or multiple response questions or even filter type questions all right because first got to get the data into SPSS before you can do anything else um, after that descriptive stats so that's why next I've got on my playlist how to get mean median and mode and standard deviation but I don't simply tell you how to get it I tell you uh, which ones you need to report for your variables okay um, and then some things about cleaning your data and then mishmash of tools which uh, at some stage I probably will put into some order so that you know um, get some idea of what methods you need okay but that's it for now so I've shown you how to uh, I just talked about the environment. I've talked about how you can get a free version uh, for at least for 14 days, and I've talked about where you can go next for help. So it's really now down to you to um, get down to it, isn't it? So uh, I'll let you do just that. Okay. So have fun.